I'm behind a truck full of military boys. I love guys in uniform. I love that I live in a place where there's a military base right next door. I like guys with really well-groomed hairs and faces, too. So, I'm a lucky girl right now. It's a really nice view. Gonna head into the Dollar Tree and look around. Um, probably my all-time favorite dollar store. I think they get the best quality stuff. Um, they're probably the only dolly, dollar store left where everything really is still a dollar or less. They do have some things that are like two for a dollar. Where most dollar stores, you know, stuff is... I mean, I've seen things ten and fifteen dollars <clears throat> in dollar stores before. Um, and I don't, I don't appreciate that. So, I like the Dollar Tree. Um, and the Dollar Tree is really good too because they get mainstream drugstore makeup um, and sell it for a dollar. I got the NYC color wheels a little while ago for a dollar. They get a lot of Maybelline, uh, a lot of Revlon. Um, they get uh, Wet n Wild products that come straight from the vendor that makes them. Um, so it doesn't have the Wet n Wild name, but it's in the exact same, you know, packaging. Um, which, Wet n Wild isn't that expensive anyway, but if you can get it for a dollar versus two ninety nine, you know, you go for the dollar, right? And um, I think uh, they've got really good packaging. You can get tissue paper, you know, a lot of sheets for a dollar and some of that kind of thing, so it, it's probably my favorite. Oh, and they have the best candy selection, too. <laughs> if you like the old-style uh, movie theater candy, then go to Dollar Tree, because they have it. So I'm going to head in, see if I can get any ideas for um, gifts and wrapping gifts in creative, pretty ways. And we'll see. Go to the Dollar Tree. It's a good place. Well, I finished at the dollar store. And they had some really cute, um, they were just baking cups. You know, like the paper liners that go around cupcakes. Uh, but they had them in like a cream color and a fall yellow color and a fall kind of red color. So I'm thinking um, I'm going to put together a, a gift basket and put those liners in there and uh, maybe put together a jar um, with all of the dry ingredients for cupcakes already included and maybe get a nice fall type um, icing, <coughs> jar of icing to put in there. And maybe some fall colored, um, you know, spreaders or something like that to spread the icing with. And directions for how to make cupcakes that I'll print out on the computer. And make a really nice um, little gift basket for somebody who likes to bake. And then they'll have it already in time for the fall get-togethers. <clears throat> and so I'm thinking I'll do that. Um, all that I got while I was there is I got some uh, little trays to keep my eyeliners and lip liners in. I have a, this huge storage system <laughs> for all my makeup, but I need some of those trays to put <clears throat> down in to keep the liners. I have them in a container sitting on top but I don't I don't like it as much that way I don't like them to show they're kind of cluttery looking I think so I just want to tuck them down inside 
and I got some Arizona tea because I just feel thirsty and the tea's not cold. It's one of those big jugs, um, the kind with ginseng and honey. Um, but it just sounded good to me since I'm sick, so I'm going to take it home, put it in the fridge later. And I think when I get home, I'm going to, I have some, like, freezer pops. I think I'm going to throw them in the freezer. Because right now, I just feel like all I want is something cold because my throat is still a little sore. It's like, it's like my throat isn't really sore, but my tonsils are sore, if that makes any sense. And I just want cold things. <laughs> And I don't care what they are, if they're fattening or what. I just want them all the time right now. Plus, with my fever, I think that's not helping the situation any. And I'm about to go to Steak and Shake. As you can see, it's right there. And get some lunch because I haven't eaten anything yet today. And to go along with my cold kick and the fact that I am... Um, The fact that it's that time of the month and I'm craving chocolate like crazy like I always do this time of the month I think I'm just gonna kill two birds with one stone go to Steak and Shake and I'm gonna get some um, lunch and I'm going to have a turtle caramel nut uh, Sunday milkshake whatever they call them because it's cold and it has chocolate and caramel which are my favorites and nut and dairy for protein at least that's my excuse for right now um, I'm normally not an ice cream fan and I know that ice cream is probably gonna make me a little bit mucusy but I don't really care I just want something cold and I want to not have a fever anymore and I want chocolate and I'll actually eat some lunch too but that won't be healthy either so let's not even pretend uh, little plastic trays for my eyeliners and lip liners and giant jug of Arizona green tea with ginseng and honey which is not at all healthy it's full of high fructose corn syrup I'm sure yep but I don't care I just want it because I'm sick well I was just in steak and shake and I was eating and I was sitting in a booth <clears throat> and the booth that I was in was connected to another booth, and at that booth was a family that included a dad, a mom, um, and three kids. One, you know, teenage girl that probably is was like 15 or 16 at least, and then <clears throat> a younger boy and an even younger girl that were probably maybe about four and six or seven I would say for the boy so I'm just sitting there and the dad is like checking me out basically it's like watching and watching and watching and watching and don't get me wrong I like to be checked out because you know it makes you feel good although <clears throat> I don't like to be checked out by a married man especially when his entire family can is sitting there with him enjoying lunch and can see that he's doing it just as easily as I can see that he's doing it. <clears throat> and I think it was even more irritating to me just because I'm sick and I look like crap. And maybe it's just me, but don't you just hate it when you feel like you don't look good and people hit on you when you feel like you don't look good? I don't know. Like seems like, you know, you'll have one of those days where you're just having the most terrible hair day or whatever, and you're just unhappy with your appearance altogether, and then somebody will hit on you, and it just is the most annoying thing. 
because it makes me want to say, can you not see that I look awful today? <laughs> but anyway, yeah, so the dad was, like, totally checking me out, and it was just kind of irritating me. He was a cute guy, though, but, um, I don't know. I just don't like when people check other people out when their family is right there to see it. My dad used to do that. All He still does it, but I can remember being a very small kid, like, you know, still riding in a car seat age. <clears throat> and what my dad will do is we'll be in a car, and he'll be driving, and maybe you'll drive past, maybe there'll be a lady walking up the sidewalk or something, and you'll drive past, and his head will whip around, and he will, you know, stare at them the entire time going past. Like, you know, there's no paying attention to the road or where he's driving. <laughs> He's terrible about that. And I can remember being a little kid and being like, that's just so wrong. You know, I didn't like it even, even then. So, yeah, that was my experience at Steak and Shake while I'm sick. But I did get my ice cream, though. And I can never finish ice cream. So I have a to-go cup. So it'll probably go in the freezer, and it'll probably take me, like, two more times eating to, to eat it all. We'll see. Um, <clears throat> and I, I have another problem. My other problem is that I'm addicted to spicy foods. Um, I had a pepper jack melt, which is super yummy. And the reason that I love it is because, oh, I had cheese fries, too. It was a very unhealthy meal. But the reason that I love it is because it has pepper jack cheese in it, which is spicy, and because it comes with jalapenos to put on it. Um, my favorite foods of all time and the foods that I crave the most are spicy foods. If it has jalapenos, hot sauce, <clears throat> uh, buffalo wing sauce, chilies, anything like that, I love it. I have to have it. And it's really bad because that's spicy foods are one of the major foods that causes me to react. Um, you know, I get itchy and my skin peels and my fingernails peel away from my... I wonder if you can see that. Uh, I don't know if you can see that or not, but this fingernail is starting to pull away from the nail bed. Um underneath here and you probably can't see it this one is as well right here and it's because of something I ate and <clears throat> if I keep eating things that I react to they will continue to pull away and it'll go really far back and gets a little painful and all that kind of stuff um, but I can't help it I'm addicted to spicy foods uh, alcohol does it too, red meats, pork, the list goes on and on. Acidic foods, tomatoes, tomato sauce, uh, m most proteins, dairy, processed meats. Um, I really can't eat a whole lot of anything. I think I can eat plain lettuce. That's about it. But I really like spicy foods. Alcohol is terrible too. 